Welcome back to AM Buffalo. We are still down here at the auto show, and oh my gosh, not only is it beautiful in here, but Buffalo, charity and giving back. The, the, the city of good neighbors, right? Yes. This is where we are. And we, this segment, you're going to learn about just how much the auto show gives back. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. We have two people here who are going to be talking to us about the charitable giving because Buffalo Show, Buffalo Auto Show, that is, does this so well. Thank yes. you so much for being with us. Thanks for having us, Emily. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. So let's talk about last night. There's a gala before yes. the auto show even opens where you honor recipients with some amazing donations. Can we talk about that? Absolutely. So every year, the night before the show opens, we have our big charity event. There's a media there, industry officials, um, elected officials, dignitaries. It's a big event, um, and really the focus of the event is to enjoy the beautiful cars, the entertainment, all of that, while raising tremendous um, funds for the community. <coughs> and Dave is going to tell us a little bit about what we raised. Last night we had 10 grant recipients. Wow. They each receive a different amount depending on what their needs are. We have a board of trustees who looks at the grant applications. Um, we interview people. We do a deep dive so we make sure that we're investing where, where it's going to best serve our community. And we We've, we've made a tremendous impact since we started doing this back in 1999. Yeah, Dave, please give us some details. Okay, so we're really excited to have the auto show kicking off again. And uh, you know, last night we gave away almost almost two hundred thousand dollars, about one hundred ninety-five thousand dollars, to all local charities, all really worthy recipients. Um, and not only did we give away, you know, that that you know $195,000 last night but that is a small part of the overall commitment that we have uh, given close to $700,000 in ongoing commitments mm -hmm. and you know since the charity since this foundation the inception we've given away almost three million dollars so you know all going back into into local local worthy causes so yeah. So if there are folks out there, you did briefly explain this, how you go through this process of choosing yes. who these recipients yep. will be, but if there are folks out there who have a local nonprofit or doing good work in the community, how do they get involved? How do they become Great. in the running? Yes, it's very easy. So if you go to our website, nfada.com, there's actually a grant application on the website. Any 501C can apply, um, and our trustees meet twice a year to review grant applications. And we really focus on grants uh, that, that uh, take care of Western New York families. There's so many great organizations um, and there's a lot of people that support other things. We do things that support children and families in Western New York and um, we can talk a little more about the grants when you bring on our, one of our grant recipients yes. uh, but it is um, all of the money is here to help people um, their families succeed so that they choose to stay and live and work in Western New York because it's a great place and like you said so giving it is the city of good neighbors. Dave what did it feel like to be in the room last night to give the money and what does it mean year after year to give back to these organizations um you know for me i i'm just happy to be a part of it you know mm -hmm. it's great to give back you know and as betty said you know we meet twice a year and we review the uh, the grant applications and you know the best part is going out to meet the people that are mm -hmm. going to receive you know and that all kind of comes together at the, the preview party that we had last night and uh you know seeing everybody up on stage it's really it really it's it's a great feeling so um, and it's not just us you know we're all the, the car dealers in general in Western New York we all you know we're all part of it it's just uh, it's really great well, yeah. yes yeah the Niagara Frontier Auto Dealers Association all of you pitching in yeah. to make sure that our local community is supported yeah. it is a hard process I give them a lot of credit yeah. having to choose who the recipients will be each year because you hear some amazing stories it mm -hmm. must be so heartwarming to see the amazing work being done in our communities yeah it, it really is it's hard to ever say no because they're all wonderful organizations which is why you know last night it was 10 grants sometimes it's fewer sometimes uh, some of the grants last night were multi-year grants like our grant to the motion project which is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand a year so that's mm -hmm. when Dave said you know our ongoing commitments these are people that we will fund we will continue to fund um, that are already in excess of seven hundred thousand plus the three million we've already invested and then every year we'll, we'll add to that with more grants yeah. so so people coming to the charity preview gala is important because it helps us raise those funds and and anybody who comes out to the Buffalo Auto Show a portion of every ticket sold does go to local charities so you come out you see a beautiful show and you support your community 
She could not have said it any better. (laughs) And up next, we get to speak with one of the founders of these organizations that received some funding. So you do not want to miss this because this story is very heartwarming and it's amazing. So stay with us because you are watching AM Buffalo. We're here at the Auto Show.